in many applied problems, a system is close to some kind of equilibrium. So the behavior of the entire system hinges on the behavior around the equilibrium point. Well, yes, if you are exactly in an equilibrium, you will stay there. But in physics, we are never exactly somewhere. We are very, very close, maybe at best. So what happens if you are close to an equilibrium point? Do we go into the into equilibrium, which is what we call stable, or do we go out, which is what we call unstable? This is determined by the character of the equilibrium point. In this video, you will learn how to characterize the equilibrium point in the case x prime equals ax with real eigenvalues, and we will see what this means for our system. So, we have some equilibrium point x at zero. We have x prime equals a times x, matrix A with different and real eigenvalues, so we know what our solution looks like. We have an independent solutions, v1 e to the power lambda 1t, up to xn equals vn e to the power lambda nt, and our total solution is some linear combination of those independent solutions. With so that's the idea. What about the equilibrium point at the origin? We'll do it again for the n equals 2 case to avoid clutter. We can easily generalize. Suppose our, all our eigenvalues are positive. So lambda 1 positive, lambda 2 positive, all of them are positive. So what happens in that case? So we are going out due to the positive eigenvalues. If you are on v1, you are going out due to the interval lambda 2 t if you are on your v2, so you're always going out, no matter where you are. So if you are here, you will all also go out somehow, like that. Or if you are here, you will also go out. Everything is pushed away. Such an equilibrium point is therefore called a repeller and unstable. No matter how close you are to your equilibrium point, you will always be pushed away and will go to infinity eventually. So that's one uh, possibility. Other possibility, reverse, if both eigenvalues are negative. In that case, you are pulled in if you are at v1 due to the negative lambda 1, and you are also pulled in due to the power e to the power lambda 2t if you stay on v2. In this case, you will always be pulled in towards the origin, so something like this, something like this, something like that. Uh, and such an equilibrium point is therefore called an attractor because everything is attracted towards the origin. That's also a possibility. So this is the case for two eigenvalues. Similarly for if all your eigenvalues are negative, then you have an attractor. So we know what happens if everything is positive. We know what happens if everything is negative. So we're left with the last case. Uh, if we have some mixture, so both positive and negative eigenvalues. Now, if you are uh, starting at v1, your lambda 1 is negative, so your e to the power lambda 1 t is going to pull you inside. You're going towards the origin. Looks sort of stable. However, your lambda 2 is going to pull you out, because that one is uh, positive. So what does the combination do? Like uh, pulling in and then out. Putting in, but then eventually out. Putting in, but then eventually out. Or putting in and then eventually out. So such a point where you have both positive and negative eigenvalues is called a cell point. And again, you're going to be pulled out. So this is an unstable equilibrium point. So those are the three cases if you have a real uh, and unequal eigenvalues a repeller. If all of them are positive and attractor if all eigenvalues are negative, and a settle point if you have both positive and negative eigenvalues.